This is Dequisha with Water Rocks Publishing, and today I'm going to teach you how to do your cover template generator for your hardback. So your cover that you will submit and have for your paperback is not the same one that you use for Ingram Spark. You have to have two different covers. Ingram Spark likes to have a little extra detail in their um, cover template that you submit to them. So I'm going to show you how to generate that, and then you're going to in turn send that to your cover designer. I always encourage my clients to hire a cover designer, graphic designer to complete their cover so that it looks professional and it stands up against the best traditionally published books that have a large budget to create a cover. So you're gonna create this and then you're gonna send it over to your uh, graphic designer so they can create a cover for you. So the first thing that it asks for is the ISBN. And remember, this is the ISBN that you paid for from myidentifiers.com, Balker. And you're going to go ahead and upload that um, information in the first box. So let's go ahead and do that. And then it's going to ask you the trim size. This is the same for all your books. Remember, what is that trim size? So the trim size is the size of your book. This is seven by 10. And then once you know what kind of paper is it, is it black and white? Is it color? If you're doing color, you need to make sure you click premium because you want it to look pristine. You, if you want your illustrations to pop off the page, you want it to be very bright and vibrant. Standard color, it gets really dull and it's not very pleasing to the eye. So we're looking for professional books. So we're gonna do premium color if you're doing a coloring book. But if you're doing a novel, um, or a poem book or things like that, then you're gonna go ahead and click black and white, and then we're gonna click hardback. And then for hardback, you will then um, select case laminate, which is the obvious option, is they won't even have the option for you to select it. Then you're gonna click the laminate type. So this is, do you want gloss? Do you want um, matte? Just let them know what kind of cover would you like. So once you decide, then you'll select the one that you want. Glossy gives you more of a sheen, a little um, reflectant, whereas matte is very smooth and mute. So you'll select that, and then um, you'll make sure you have everything. So hardback, case laminate, cover, gloss, how many pages. You'll put the page amount. And then I'll ask you what type of file type would you like. You can do any of these three, but I like to do PDF because my KDP um, is in PDF, my uh, interior is in PDF, so just keep it consistent and do PDF. Then you're going to add your email address. And this is the email address that they're going to send you the template to. So send this template to you to that email address that you can then hand off to your um, cover designer so they can have it. So you want to make sure that you put the right email address so you'll have access to it. And then we're going to go to the optional information. This is the information that you do not want to fill out. Remember, we don't want to put our price on our books because we might decide we want to change the price later. And if the price is on the book, then we can't change it. So we're not going to fill out anything there. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to click submit. And that's it. They'll email it to you within a couple hours unless they're backed up. It may take a day or two, but it gets to you really fast. And then you can send it on over to your book cover designer. This is Dequisha with Water Rocks Publishing, and this is how you create a cover template for your hardback books.